Hi, my name is Jess Wade and I'm a research fellow and lecturer at Imperial College London. And this is my smashing stereotype story. I think one of the things that I didn't appreciate when I was little is how many extraordinary places you can go to with science. Sometimes we have to do experiments and they could be in the lab at Imperial, they could be in Oxford, they could be in California, it could be in Korea. So you get to travel hugely internationally, just be able to, to be able to do your science, to use new microscopes, to use synchrotrons, to use extraordinary facilities, but also to present your science. So some conferences take place in Hawaii, some conferences take place in Japan. Sometimes you've got to travel Europe to do it. Last week, I was in San Francisco for a big photonics conference. The weekend before that, I was at a ball celebrating sciences in Vienna. Um, so you get to go to so many cool places all around the world with science and engineering. And, and I think that makes it an extraordinary job to work in. A few years ago, I was lucky enough to be named a L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science program. Their flexible support for women scientists comes at a really important time of our careers. It gives you the confidence to kind of set up your own lab and also recruit your first people to join your team. They also have an incredible program for young Young people. I think one of the biggest challenges about getting young people enthusiastic about science is that in school we just don't teach it in the way that it's done in the real world. At the moment in high school subjects are really discreet and separate from one another whereas what we really should be doing is teaching people that physics is related to maths which is related to economics which is related to history which is related to what they're doing in philosophy or thinking about in drama. Science needs all of those different skills to come together to make breakthroughs faster and discoveries possible. Yeah.